guys, it's a uh, long time no see. I've uh, been a bit busy, uh, as you can imagine, it's been stuck, but I'm doing it for you. Well, anyway, just a quick one. I've just, just got hold of another new 3D printer. I say another new, uh, I picked up another one last week. So, uh, this one is the, it's quite an old printer, it's called the, the Vector 3. Vector 3 3D printer, it's a really free 3D printer, some of you might have known it as. Now, this wasn't a very successful printer. The firmware that it was released with and the software that came, that you had to use for your slicing and stuff was just goddamn awful. But I managed to pick up this chimper, this printer, for 40 quid, would you believe it? I'll just uh, let me have a quick look. So yeah, the Vector 3 3D printer, not very good with regards to the firmware, but the build quality is absolutely outstanding. And I figured, you know, why not get what my hands on one of these and see if I can upgrade it and sort of bring it back to life. And it might be something you guys can do as well, because with what I, what I see with this is a printer with a huge potential to... Uh, put out some really good ABS prints. Now I've got a print running on this with its original uh, firmware uh, as we speak. Excuse the lighting. Uh, hello son. So just uh, just for a like for like, you know, uh, we'll see how this compares after I upgrade it. Now I figured what I'll do is I'll put a modern board in there. Maybe upgrade the power supply as well. Um, the printed bed on this is quite strange actually. It's um, it's heated with a cartridge as opposed to a, a mat, so that I think I might look into changing that because, wow, my god, does this take a long time to heat the bed? It took about maybe nearly 30 minutes to heat, heat the bed, and that is ridiculous. Leveling the bed on it as well, that's not very, very easy, so I have to come up with a solution to that as well. So it's a nice little project uh, for me to get into, get back into the sort of things with. Um, I'll also be having a little talk about this one here, me, this, this printer is fantastic, absolutely amazing. Now, I can't believe the quality of prints that's putting out, uh, and I picked that up for a steal as well, 100 quid. So you can imagine, I've had a good week actually, so 40 quid for this one, and I paid £100 for that one. That one's easily worth £300, and this, when it's finished, I think will be as good as that and put out some really, really good, fine quality prints. Yeah, so stay tuned in and um, see, see what happens. I'm so impressed with the build quality of this. It is really, it does look smart as well, doesn't it? It's quite a good looking printer.